Because optical encoders are functionally similar, resolution is often used as a main characteristic for magnetic encoders, devices that provide the angle of a magnet attached to a mechanical shaft in a digital format. Resolution is a key parameter since it indicates the smallest angle that the sensor is capable of resolving. Unfortunately, when comparing products, users may often be misled, as resolution is defined in different ways in both commercial and technical documents. Before defining resolution, it is important to clarify some points related to measurement error. A measurement error is defined as the difference between between the measured value of a quantity and its true value. This error can be divided into two components. First is the systematic error in the component, which stays constant across multiple measurements performed under the same conditions. This error can be estimated as the difference between the average of a large number of measurements and the true value of the measurement. The second is random error, which is the total error minus the systematic error. It accounts for the unpredictable variations in a group of measurements performed under the same conditions. A metric that can be used to quantify the amount of random error in a measurement is the standard deviation. In statistics, the standard deviation measures the dispersion of a set of samples around their average. The higher the dispersion, the higher the standard deviation. This parameter is also referred to as the root mean square, or RMS, noise. Sets of measurements often follow a bell-shaped curve distribution, also called a Gaussian or normal curve. This is the case when the random variation does not depend on the past error. The Gaussian curve peaks at the measurement's average, and the standard deviation characterizes its width. If the total area under the Gaussian curve is normalized to 1, then the area delimited by a range of values is the probability that the result of a measurement falls somewhere between A1 and A2. The larger the range, the greater the confidence that a single measurement falls into that range. The U.S. National Institute of Standards and Technology defines resolution as the ability of the measurement system to detect and faithfully indicate small changes in the characteristic of the measurement result. Resolution is then the smallest interval that an instrument can detect. To determine this interval, we will assume that the distribution of random errors follows the Gaussian distribution. This leads to a question, how far apart should two angles be in order to be able to distinguish both angles with a reasonably high probability? When the distance between the two angles is smaller than six standard deviations, the two noise distributions centered on the angles significantly overlap. If the result of the measurement falls in the overlap region, it is impossible to know if the true angle is angle A1 or A2. It is only when the distance between the two angles is equal to or larger than six standard deviations that a single measurement can distinguish between these two points with a confidence equal to or greater than 99.73%. Therefore, the sensor's resolution is an interval of six standard deviations. Generally, position sensor's output is given in a digital format. For example, it may be provided through an ABC or SPI interface. In this scenario, the analog signal from the magnetic sensor must be digitized. The step size for analog to digital, or AD, conversion, namely, the range of values in the analog domain divided by the number of steps in the digital domain, is often wrongly interpreted as the sensor's resolution. This interpretation is only correct when the peak-to-peak -peak noise of the analog signal is smaller than the step size of the AD conversion. However, this is not true in most scenarios. The peak-to-peak -peak noise of the analog signal often exceeds the AD step, so it appears that the sensor's digital output is a random flicker of the output's least significant bits, or LSB. This is why analog to digital converter, or ADC, manufacturers define indicators such as noise-free resolution or peak-to-peak -peak resolution. This shows how noise is carried from the analog domain to the digital domain. In this example, the step size is 1, while the peak-to-peak -peak noise is 6. In addition, the continuous and discrete distributions are shown on the x-axis and y-axis, respectively. Since the noise exceeds the digital step, decreasing the step size does not improve the resolution. When providing a measurement in a digital format, the resolution can also be expressed in bits. In the case of angle measurements, the full scale equals 360 degrees, which means the resolution can be estimated with equation 2. When discussing sensor performance, a key parameter that is often overlooked is the bandwidth, also known as the cutoff frequency. Sensor bandwidth corresponds to a signal's frequency range, which can be measured by the sensor. Signals with a frequency larger than the sensor bandwidth are attenuated. A detailed characterization of the sensor would require its transfer function in an analytical or graphical form. At the bare minimum, the cutoff frequency should be provided. A low-pass filter stage can be implemented in the sensor. This reduces the noise on the sensor output. In this case, the sensor bandwidth is the same as the filter's bandwidth. If the noise distribution is Gaussian, decreasing the filter bandwidth by a factor of 4 decreases the noise by a factor of 2, which increases the resolution by 1 bit. This means that information regarding the noise or resolution should correspond with information regarding the bandwidth. A bandwidth that is too low for an application can have dramatic effects. If the sensor is used inside a control loop, the system may be unstable, and the motor may exhibit oscillations, noise, and or loss of efficiency. In this figure, R is the position reference, AM is the motor shaft angle, and AS is the sensor output. A common design rule is to have the filter bandwidth be at least 10 times larger than the bandwidth of the control system or control loop. 
These figures show the effects of a low-pass filter bandwidth on the angle measurement, the noise, and the control loop performance, respectively. This figure shows that the motor shaft angle and sensor output under a high bandwidth filter almost overlap. Meanwhile, the sensor output with a lower bandwidth filter is not able to follow the motor shaft position as accurately. Using a bandwidth filter for the angle significantly reduces the noise. As the bandwidth gets lower, the noise is more attenuated. This figure shows how different filter bandwidths affect motor control loop performance. If a filter has a lower bandwidth, then there is more overshoot and a longer settling time. To ensure that a sensor is well suited for your application, it is crucial to make a distinction between a digital step and the actual sensor resolution. Often, when terms such as SPI resolution, AD resolution, and ABZ resolution are used, they specify how many bits are used for the digital representation of the measurement, but not the actual sensor resolution. If specs such as the RMS noise, peak-to-peak -peak noise, angle noise, or noise density are included in the sensor datasheet, they are usually the most reliable source to obtain the sensor resolution. Then the designer can use equation 1 to calculate the resolution expressed in bits. In this table, the resolution is misleading, since it is actually referring to the digital step. If the filter bandwidth is configurable, multiple noise values may be listed. Using the lowest noise value shown in the table, the resolution can be calculated with equation 3. By comparing both the resolution and the bandwidth, it is possible to determine the real performance differences between products. The filter bandwidth can be expressed through several parameters, such as the time constant, step response, or cutoff frequency. This table shows an example using the filter time constant and filter cutoff frequency. For many MPS angle sensors, the digital representation of the data is 16 bits, meanwhile, the resolution, sensing technique, and the filter bandwidth vary between parts. This table lists the resolution and bandwidth values for some sensors in the MAG Alpha family. Note that some sensors have a configurable filter bandwidth, which allows them to be adapted to different application requirements. The table also illustrates how the TMR sensing technique used inside the MA600 sensor helps achieve excellent resolution at higher bandwidths compared to Hall-based sensors. Although determining accurate sensor resolution can be complex, it is a key parameter to understand so that you can select the best angle sensor for your design. To learn more about MPS's high-accuracy sensor solution, visit monolithicpower.com. Like this video and subscribe to our channel to get the latest on our innovative new product.